the was the mouse invented when they made this game? I should have really checked this out. Oh yes, uh, I will make a separate video for this, but check out my link in my profile called warriorlabs.net. I'm writing articles for the site and posting my long plays. So if you're interested, we're building a community, need some more people, no? Try it out. I will post an article for this game there too. Okay, what do we have here? <coughs> Digital tape player. Ooh. Um, look at the desk and open the drawer. Brushed aluminium work desk. What's in the drawer? Desk set drawer. Open it. It's locked and you don't have the key. Uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I should do this in order. Look at the chair. Executive swivel chair. Oh, the desk key. Small desk key in the seat of the chair. Oh, take it. Okay. Desk. Look. Open. Okay. Ah, okay. Does it automatically? What was that? Oh, I don't know. Um. Do, 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 do. You get a tape. Look at the great sheet. The great sheet is for an advanced psychology course. The name of one student is Circle, Blaise Wiener. <laughs> His short name is Wiener. <laughs> Wang. The great received is an E. Well, that's not really good, is it? Um. Let's tape player there. On. You slip the tape you found in the desk into the tape player. The voice on the tape cries out, Taya in my head! Taya in my head! head! They're in my head! Oh, thank you for doing this for me. Let's do this They're again. They're in my head! They're in my head! Awesome! <laughs> I like this game. It's strange. <laughs> it's awesome. What could that mean? Next, check out the display cabinet. Display case. The display cabinet is protected by a magnetic field. You notice two slot screws partitionally hidden and surmise that you could shut down the field if you had a slot screwdriver. Well, we don't have a screwdriver with us, do we? Hmm. I look at it. Ooh, the trash can. Trash cans always have important clues in it. A trash can sits on the floor next to the desk. Ooh, a lease. The lease is for space in the Bridgeview Warehouse, located in San Francisco. Oh, NC4675. It was rented by Karl Linsky ten months ago. Ooh, let's get this. Okay. The note is a handwritten letter to Dolores Lightbody. It says, Dolores, I'm calling our relationship off. It has nothing to do with Sandra Larsen. I just know there are other... Whales in the sea, and uh, yes, talking about whales when you send her a letter is really tactful. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's head to the cabinet. Uh, back. Du, 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 du. I like the sound. Hello? Oh, wrong cabinet. <laughs> cabinet, look. A solid oak cabinet. Cabinet door. Open it. Okay. Look at a book. Psychology textbook written by Karl Linsky. The page is marked. Okay. You open the book to the page marked and see that appears to be a combination to a safe. Oh! The safe combination is 37316. Awesome! Take it. What's the cabinet key for? A file cabinet key. Hmm.
painting. You look at the painting. The painting is an antique landscape. People used to buy this at Kmart. Can you move it? Okay. Ooh, a safe. Painted painting is a wall safe. <laughs> okay. Money, 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 money. Inside the cash is one thousand dollars in cash. Awesome. Let's get the money, 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 money. Makes me funny. He's a rich man. So. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me see how much videos I've recorded so far. Is this video number four? Oh, <laughs> we still have some time to go. Yes, time flies just by when you are in the flight simulator. No pun intended. I guess we can leave this location now. Exit, yes. Well, I guess we talk with the uh, uh, insurance guy, Peter Dow, who is at 4674. 4674. And I will see you when you're there. And I am back! Wow! Peter Dow's office! Let's exit the speeder. Wah! No, not this. Hello. Hello. Ah! Walk through. Thank you. Calling. Thank you. E. E. Thank you. Oh, again, the Golden Gate Bridge. Peter Doll is the vice president of the Transamerica Insurance Company. Most insurance people aren't really excited, but he's so boring, even looking at him could put you to sleep. Yes, he may. Why the works. Well, Tell me about Karl Linsky. Mr. Linsky had taken an insurance policy out on himself in July. The amount of the policy was one million dollars. As you are certainly aware, there is a clause in life insurance policies that, in the event of a suicide, the policy is null and void. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so yeah. Wait, I totally forgot <laughs> what his name was. Uh, Sylvia Lenska demanded that her father's insurance be paid, but the policy becomes void in the case of a suicide. I told her we were sorry, but nothing could be done. She screamed, We'll see you about that, and stormed out of my office. Hmm. 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 Professor Linska took an insurance policy several months ago, naming his daughter as beneficiary. The policy amount was one million dollar. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't think that Sylvia is any way involved in this case. Why would she make it look like a suicide if she doesn't get any money? It doesn't make any kind of sense. Oh well, let's fly over to Bash Dagot. 46757. Destination locked. Well, we will see you. We are there. Be right back. Okay, we are Bash Dagot. Dago or whatever I slay places. Let's leave. Um what? What? What do I have to do? Hello? Oh, cool. 